New details on our top story now, the resignation of MP and Cabinet Minister Peter Panashaway. For months, the CBC's Laura Payton has been digging into Panashaway's mounting troubles over questionable corporate donations, and she's got new details for us now. Uh, Laura, finally today, Panashaway admitted he accepted ineligible donations and he's resigning and running in a by-election because of it. What else do we know? Yeah, lots of news today. Uh, we also know that he's now paid $30,000 to the federal government. He gave it to the Receiver General. They collect tax money, as everyone knows. Um, so, And that is to cover, as the spokesman for the party said, that's to cover ineligible contributions. Now, this is actually more than we had calculated he may have taken in as ineligible or illegal contributions. We calculated about $17,000 in flight, give or, flights, give or take, about possibly $5,500 in a corporate donation from this construction company in St. John's. So the 30000 is actually more. We also don't know where the money came from because his campaign, frankly, was broke by the end. He had to take a $25,000 uh, loan from his brother-in-law's organization just to pay the bills at the end of the campaign. So this is significant. He's admitted he had uh, ineligible donations, illegal donations. He's paid it back, but there was some, you, you'd reported on Panacon, who gave them a corporation with $5,500 donations. There. But this $30,000 is significant. So what questions do you have about that? Well, I'd like to know exactly what it was for. Uh, nobody's really talking about that. Elections Canada won't confirm or deny any kind of investigation, though we do know they're looking into the file. Um, we, I'd also like to know uh, where the money came from, as I said, right. because he didn't have any at the end of it. Now, there's other un un unanswered questions here. Uh, we know the Prime Minister has to call by-election in the next six months, but he can set that date whenever he wants. We don't know when it'll be. Um, Elections Canada has a couple of options. They could just reach a compliance agreement, which actually would have entailed him paying back the uh, ineligible contributions. They could also go to charges, which could have a fine and could have jail time attached if someone is found to knowingly be breaking the rules. What are the other parties quickly saying about this? Uh, they're angry, obviously. Bob Ray, we have a statement here from him saying it's unfortunate it's taken so long for Peter Panashwe and the Conservative government to assume responsibility for what were clearly and undeniably illegal campaign donations. Uh, Mr. Ray calls Mr. Panashwe. Uh, sorry, he says he continues to blame an inexperienced volunteer, but we know that uh, Mr. Bowers has worked on other campaigns. Yeah, and that inexperienced volunteer was his agent, a man named Reg Bowers, who was later given a plum appointment to the Petroleum Board, and he resigned from that today. So there'll be lots more on cbc.ca. Laura Payton's been covering this for a long time, been digging up lots of documents. She'll have more on cbc.ca. Terry Molesky will have more on The National tonight. And uh, lots on this resignation of Peter Panashaway.